Now, there have been numerous commemorations to mark the end of the First World War, and today there was a really special one on Merseyside. Magul was home to the first military hospital to diagnose and treat British soldiers for shell shock. Now, the Mossside Hospital no longer exists, but local people wanted the work that it did to always be remembered, so they came together to organise a statue in its honour, as Jill Dummigan reports. They faced unimaginable horrors on the battlefield and the trauma it left them with was equally overwhelming. Trembling, muscular spasms and terrible psychological disorders. Depression would be number one. Uh, fear, anxiety. Many of the men affected were simply shot for cowardice, but a handful of pioneering hospitals instead began treating them. They provided some of the basic research, which then went on to inform development of, of the um, treatments for people who have been involved in conflict, and that continues today. The statue, the result of four years of local fundraising, depicts a nurse supporting a wounded soldier. What do you think of the results? Oh, it's beautiful, stunning, so proud. I want people to come and have a look at a little bit closer because, in a sense, the, the, the figures are just the carriers for the words that adorn the base of the statue, which are really quite profound. The hospital building itself is no longer here. It's where these houses are now being constructed behind me. But the work that it did into trauma and conflict and the need for that work is just as relevant today as it ever was. Stephen served in most of this century's major conflicts, for which he and many of his former colleagues have paid a huge price. He's now part of a new charity raising awareness of PTSD. It's cost me relationships, it's cost me houses, family, it's cost me, it's cost me everything. We've lost six in our battalion since March, all through suicide. The statue stands at the entrance to McGull's new station. It's hoped it will give busy commuters a brief pause for thought. A statue like this really encapsulates the, the spirit of humanity, the spirit of bringing people together, of caring for each other instead of trying to kill each other. And I think that's what we'd like to get across. Jill Dumigan, BBC Northwest Tonight, McGull.